one more at the end, we're going to be giving away a team MVP of your choosing. We're going to it's open to Xbox, PlayStation, PC if you play on PC. We're going to draw a winner in the chat. You guys will get a whisper from us and we will have EA grant you a team MVP of your choosing. There are a number of them. If you need to help if you need help deciding, go to muthead.com, check out the database. All of those items are there on the website. So uh, we'll have the mods in the chat draw a winner. We'll announce that here for you. I think we just saw it. Let me double check. Um, maybe I'm blind. As we scroll back through <laughs> thousands of chat You guys are chat nuts messages. in the chat. You guys are so Love awesome. It. There we are. Uh, looks like Rook, Unk Rook, 1374. Congratulations on your team MVP. We'll have another one here before the broadcast is over, but we have a final matchup. $1,000, D. Croft, Joe Rice. Let us know in the chat who you think is going home with that cool 1K in their pocket. Put a 1 in the chat for D. Croft. Put a 2 in the chat for Joe Rice. And as we talked about uh, leading up to this game in the final four, Zan, it, this is two very different styles. Joe Rice, the vertical offense, but D. Croft, he's that ball control. Is there any advantage, you think, for somebody in this uh, $1,000 game, essentially? Uh, it's it's a contrast of styles for sure. Uh, if you're D. Croft and you turn the ball over at all in this game, you're in a lot of trouble in my opinion. You have a slower paced offense. Your goal should be to really work the clock, keep the ball out of Joe Rice's hands as much as possible. You know that Joe Rice is going to get his, so you've got to figure out a way to make that total that he's getting, get it down into the you know 35 to 28 range. I mean, he's on a pace where he's scoring like 60 plus points per 20 minutes of football. It's insane. I don't think we've seen anything like it this year. That was a great user. I don't know if you saw that, but he was looking to the corner out on the left side and a great switch over there by Joe Rice. And I think that might be the underrated part of what Joe Rice has done today apart from, you know, the 52-49. Defensively, he's been fairly solid while putting up all these points. Yeah, I mean, his defense has been there, too. I think it's really tough when you score so many points or you're giving up so many points to keep pace. And there's a lot of pressure to keep pace with an offense like Joe Rice's, when, in fact, I think the style that Decroft plays is more conducive to, you know, just forcing Joe Rice out of his game. You, you slow it down, but you see right now, Joe Four Rice down. has got the defense. Looking at a four and out right off the jump here, only 32 seconds off the clock. And that's that's a, a key start to the game for Decroft is – you really want to set the tone early, get that touchdown, be able to establish that ball control. But 0 for 2 passing the ball, lost a yard on a run play, and now a 4th and 11. This is not where you want to be out of the gate going forward on 4th and 11 from your own 24-yard line. Play action fake here for Vic. And what a great user once again. Looks over right side, though. And that was a beautiful work through the progressions for Decroft. You know he's looking for the post route on the right side. The user took it away. But the cross from the uh, left to right to Vernon Davis picks up 20. I like that read right there. Great progression read. High to low. Went for the post. And then settled on that second progression. That outcut from the tight end. Vernon Davis moves the chains. But you have to be careful. You can't get yourself into too many fourth down calls early in this ball game because Joe Rice is going to sponge that up. He now knows Vernon Davis is read number two on fourth down. Handoff on first and 10 to Fournette, trying to get that run game going that's been so good for him all game long. Congratulations to our third winner, The Bridge, picking up another one of those team MVPs. Don't go away. We still got we still got some more. And uh, we got to award $1,000, so you really don't want to miss out on the action. Yeah, D. Croft right now, so close. A number of times this year, great up-and-coming competitor. Got an opportunity here against Joe Rice. Joe Rice right now just trying to sponge up as much as this offense as possible. Second down and eight. Looking over to the right side. Nice throw, but a better defensive play to get over there and rip the ball out And for this ball control offense. Starting out for this game, Decroft 104 passing the ball. Yeah, great defense here by Joe Rice. I liked his click on to that defender. He hit that R1. That's RB on Y Xbox. over the top. He's got Y over the top. Did Can the ball it? get there? Looking for Roberts. Drop it in the bucket, big fella. Through the air, it is money. As Robert come down with the catch and Decroft giving Joe Rice a taste of his own medicine with the vertical attack. That Andre Roberts item is very popular. Team of the year slot specialist receiver 95 overall has some good speed and you saw it displayed right there. Burns Ron Parker over the top. Huge drive, huge score there from Decroft. He really needed that after that fourth down conversion. You know you're going to have to get sevens, not threes against Joe Rice. James MCFC saying burning. It's a big burn over the top. 7-0 to start out this game, and 
Boy, talk about a change in sort of the moods as it was an early 0 for 2 to start the game. Fourth and 11. Didn't know if Decroft could pick it up. He picks that up, and four plays later, he picks up a touchdown. We're going to rock with the higher quality stream here the rest of the way. It looks like we're going to be watching from Joe Rice's vantage point. So now you guys get a chance to scout some offense, get your notepads out at home. First down and 10 for Joe Rice. First and 10, dropping back on first down. Waiting, looking, a little uh, curl route from Julio Jones. And again, going through that progression. you got to think Julio on the curl was probably option three or four for Joe Rice. Yeah, those curl routes are great because they serve two purposes. One, they hold the user in the middle of the field. Two, you can playmaker them. Anytime you have a receiver showing their quarterback the numbers, you get precision over the playmaker. Nice crossing route right there in the face of pressure. Megatron moves the chains. Calvin Johnson over the middle. 7 nothing, Decroft up early, but you got to think with this Joe Rice offense, that's not going to be the only point scored in this game. Winner of this game takes home that cool 1K. Got to love being able to take home $1,000 on a Friday night. Waiting, looking, chucking across his body, has a man, and just couldn't get it there. Falls at the feet. Um, it looked like that was Galladay out there, second and ten. Vic shuffling left in the pocket, a little bit of pressure. Tried the playmaker and a throw off his back foot. Not enough oomph on it. It's going to fall to the turf incomplete, second down and 10. And here's the quick snap from Joe Rice. And looks right up the seam, that post route. That's been money all day long. That little quick post from either the left or the right. It's an easy read once he sees the blitz coming. Great recognition of the pressure right there. Again, we talk about the vertical hooks in this cover two defense. When they blitz those players, those seams are a little tender. And he's able to find that, uh, that hole in the zone. Good coverage uh -oh. right here, but an even better read. And Ken Galladay. Galladay, one man to beat. Good tackle at the nine-yard line. Now, Zan, when you're looking at Joe Rice's offense, so good at pushing the ball vertically, we've seen so many deep touchdowns. Is there any advantage to, to those tackles inside the red zone and forcing Joe Rice to work on a shorter field? Yeah, absolutely. You can play a prevent-style defense and just try to win inside the red zone. You know, just concede that you're going to give up three to an offense like Joe Rice. But that's easier said than done. Joe Rice has shown the ability to score in the red zone. We saw him go to that wheel route. Uh, he takes the smart reads down in the red zone. He's done a great job. That Joe Mixon check down in the Clef game, he's he's very hard to stop right now. I, I don't know how you're going to hold him to three because he's shown the ability to get seven almost every time in the red zone in this tournament. First and goal. Joe Rice looking to tie the ball game up after the early bomb to Roberts from Decroft to go up 7 nothing. 2-12 to go in the first quarter. Dropping back, looking back at the end zone. High pass. Bring that bad boy down, Julio Jones. Have yourself a day here on Mudhead Friday Night Football. Julio Jones yet again proving why he is the new go-to receiver in the red zone. He holds onto the ball about as much as Randy Moss used to, and you're seeing that a lot of players are relying heavily on him for those high points down the red zone. Those passing windows are so condensed, you use the back of the end zone as a 12th defender, you have to throw it where the, receiver, the defenders can't get it, and with Julio Jones, you get that size, speed, and catching traffic that you need to win $1,000. Joe Rice, great answer to the D-Croft score. Now we'll see if D-Croft can you know continue running that ball control offense and the answer right back oh he's got a read down the middle as a man it is open and it's a foot race 25 15 10 5 when in doubt air it out decroft the ball control giving joe rice a taste of his own medicine combine vernon davis burgers donuts niswa salad delivering from over 95,000 restaurants nationwide if you want it all you can get it all. Grubhub. Restaurants you love delivered. And a big shout out to uh, Grubhub, our sponsor for Friday Night Football number seven. 95,000 restaurants in over 1,700 cities. Remember, use that code TOUCHDOWN. You get $10 off your first order of $15 or more. Big shout out to Grubhub making a lot of this possible here on Friday Night Football number seven. Oh, Lord. Oh, Kenny Galladay. Why didn't you just look that ball into your hands? Playmaker up the field might have gotten away with one right there. It looked like Kyle Fuller lurking in that three wreck hook in the middle of the field. Risky read right there for Joe Rice. First little bit of weakness we've seen from him offensively today. Second but he comes right ten. back with the dart. It's a deep crosser. Makes the user miss. Got some room. He'll get out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Randy Moss. Mossing him down the field. Great read right there from Joe Rice. I mean, you look at these skill position players. Galladay, we've already talked about his stats. Megatron, Julio, Shannon Sharp. Good pressure from Decroft, but he breaks the sack. Unable to get away, though. That's going to be Dick Night Train Lane. Loss of five. 
D. Croft looking good right now. The defense is showing up, slowing down Joe Rice early on in this one. And I mean, that's saying something. I mean, he already got – he's one for one, and he's almost in the red zone again. I mean, but – I mean. The dude was scoring 65 points a game. So, so it looked like it's going to be another shootout early in this game. Second and 15. Deep pass over the middle. Bad throw. Oh, we haven't seen Joe Rice make many mistakes. But Jamal Adams says, give me that, Joe. We're going the other way. Jamal Adams. That is a major item. Great speed. A lot of players love him as a user. He makes a play as a CPU defender right there. One-on-one -on -one with Megatron. You've seen Joe Rice has been willing to put the ball in the air and go downfield challenging these DBs. Jamal Adams looked like he was ready. Fournette trying to get outside. Nice job sealing that edge, though, making sure he can only get two yards. An early mistake. We haven't seen too many mistakes from Joe Rice today. No, we haven't. Right here, this is what I'm curious to see. Is he going to stand up defensively, keep his head in it? Four-man rush, oh, and Vick Mike escapes Vick. up the middle. you got to watch out for D. Croft's stick, but he's not going to risk it there with Michael Vick. That's a, that's a beautiful read. The pressure getting after him knows you can't take a safety there. He'll run right up the middle. Slide down. Not going to take that big hit. And risk a fumble. First and 10. Shotgun formation for D. Croft. Three wide receivers set. Julio Jones on the outside wide right. Moss alone on the left side. How about let's get Leonard Fournette going. But a great user play. Gets off the block and is able to bring down Fournette for a loss of one. I love the chess match we're seeing right there. It didn't look like D. Croft wanted to run that halfback base out of that Y off trips pats until he saw Joe Rice pull the user, that slot corner, off of the slot receiver into the middle of the field as a second level linebacker. Then he had that slot receiver to help seal but his outside receiver didn't do the job. He didn't finish the block, and that was the difference between a huge gain and the loss of one. Second and 11 for D. Croft, looking to go up two scores against Joe Rice and his offense. Lobs it up left side. That's a tough throw and an even tougher catch. And how about that play? Julio trying to bring it down, but it falls incomplete. That could have been a pick going the other way. Yeah, went for that one-handed high point catch. Looked like he had the defender in the area, but the high point catch was able to get between the ball and the defender. And uh, even though it was a one-handed animation, it, uh, kind of playing defense right there should have been a pick. Certainly could have been, and that could have shifted the momentum in this game. Deep pass, looking for the ball down the field, and Julio this time says, I might have missed it last time, but I got you, D-Croft. Big first down to the 42-yard line. Right there, Joey Bosa looping off that left edge right at Mike Vick. He steps into the throw, and Julio Jones takes care of the rest. 42 yards down the field, and D-Croft right now. We didn't expect this. He's got the momentum trying to make this a two-score ball game. He must have heard we were talking about his ball control offense and said, wait a second, I can vertically stretch this down the field. Well, I think you, you see Joe Rice has realized that he's very underneath-oriented early in this tournament. Great run defense here by Joe Rice. But he's doing a lot to kind of take away those underneath routes, and he's been willing to give up those seam routes. You saw Vernon Davis on the previous drive give D. Croft the lead, and right now he leaves Julio Jones one-on-one -on -one down the field, and he makes a big play. Second down and 11. For D. Croft, up 14-7 over Joe Rice. First little bit of adversity we've seen Joe Rice face today is that's a jump. It's going to give him a free five yards. And we talked about it going into this. Joe Rice really hasn't faced a whole lot of competition. Had one game, 52-49 the final, but the rest of it, he's been dominant now. Let's see what Joe Rice has. Yeah, I mean, he's gone through great names, but he's made short work of everybody he's faced in this tournament. Guys like Keynes and Clef, I mean, those are household competitive Madden names, and he's run through them. D. Croft, though, really standing up to Joe Rice. The first time somebody's challenged him in this tournament tonight. Second down and six. Once again, motioning Moss. Going to hand it off to Fournette up the middle, but... You know, Joe Rice, eh, down 14-7. The turnover was big, but so far has really contained Leonard Fournette. If I told you Leonard Fournette on his first six carries would be six rushes, negative one yards, you wouldn't expect D. Croft to be up in this game, but he is somehow. Nice wheel. And that's because, I mean, we talked about it. He's willing to, you know, he likes that little short side wheel corner combination between the tight end and running back. Simple high-low read on that short side. He doesn't just run Fournette up the middle. He will use him as a receiver. As you see, his first catch goes for eight yards. That was a big conversion there as uh, the stuff on second down. Set up that third down play. Now first and 10. Decroft finding a way to be a vertical offense in this game and still stretch the ball down the field. I like him flipping into the Y off trips. He's going to make him run away from that nickel corner, but Joe Rice recognizes it. Good user wow. and funnels the run back to the inside. Seven carries, one yards for an offense dominated by Fournette. He hit 99 yards in one game, was up at 120 in another. Only one game on one yard on seven carries so far in this game. Great job by Joe Rice to slow him down, but the story of this ball game is that interception that Joe Rice threw took a risk and paid for it dearly. 
and Joe and uh, see Ben the formula for D Croft. Get up, grind it out, just try to get up by two scores and put the pressure on the offense to come back from behind. And he's done this to a T the entire night. Second down and eight. How about try to run with Fournette once again? And how about this Joe Rice defense? Get it after the run game and force it a third and six. Third down and six here for Joe Rice. Would not be afraid to bring pressure, play some hard flat coverage. I know he's gone up top a couple times, but you got the back of the end zone to play that 12th defender right here. Would not be afraid to take a chance with your coverage. Third and six. I think Fournette. he's going to take this the two minute warning. And take this all the way down with a seven point lead. And they will indeed hit the two-minute warning. Decroft up 14-7. And I think, you know, taking from what the chat was saying, it's a lot of people going for Joe Rice in this game. This is probably a little bit surprising. I mean, Joe Rice has been so on with his passing attack. Makes one mistake, and now an opportunity for Decroft to go up big. Dropping back. Looking over to the left side, finding Vernon Davis. Picking up the first down, and now this is where Decroft is so good. He will take what the defense gives him and pick up those first downs. How big has Vernon Davis been in this tournament for Decroft? 92 speed, combine item, a real mismatch in salary cap. Here comes Fournette. And once zone. again, that Joe Rice defense. They haven't been able to get a stop on third down, but they're not letting Leonard Fournette beat you. I mean, I would say that, you know, first down and 10 is a rundown for D. Croft and you should run commit. But, it, I mean, it's working for him. He hasn't had to run commit. He's only got, what, two or three yards on uh, upwards of nine carries at this point. You got to stick with it. But you got to figure out what you could do to take away this short underneath West Coast game. Oh, Whoa. he had a chance right there on that hitch. That could have been a big play. Just a little late getting over there. Another third and six. Shout out to all my guys uh, in Ohio, Cleveland and Zanesville. I'm a Columbus boy. Grew up in Columbus. Good to see all the Ohio guys out there. Good to see everybody out there hanging out with us. I think that high point pass on that last hitch saved a turnover for D. Croft. Got to take care of the ball right here and ensure that you can at least get three. Clock is ticking. Joe Rice has no timeouts. Don't be surprised if he runs the ball here. And he's going to throw it. Dropping back. Stepping up with Vic, though. This is a planned scramble sliding down. And if this